Prokofiev's Lieutenant Kije tells a wonderfully strange story featuring four characters. So take a piece of paper and divide it into four sections. And as you watch our introduction to the characters, why not draw them, one in each section? So you'll have an army cadet, a secretary, the Tsar, and the mysterious Lieutenant Kije. Lieutenant Kije started life as a film score with a mysterious story. And to set the scene on a cold and lonely Russian army base, Prokofiev chose the trumpet. So the trumpet's going to now transform from being a lonely wanderer asking questions of the universe to an army cadet freezing outside the base. And our trumpet player is going to transform from Jason to Niall. So here's a short fanfare that you'll hear at the beginning and the end of the piece. And as you listen, warm yourself up. Prokofiev creates three more musical characters to tell his story. The next is an army clerk or a secretary. She's in the offices and she's filing, sorting and making lists. She's played by Sharon on the piccolo and Sam on the snare drum and she sounds like this. And then there's the Tsar. So when this story was set 200 years ago in Russia, the Tsar was the most important person. The Tsar is like a king, but perhaps a little scarier. Prokofiev uses fanfare rhythms that spread across the orchestra to describe the Tsar. So we should probably bow or curtsy as we hear this. And finally, there's the mysterious Lieutenant Kije. Now, there's something a bit weird and twisty about this guy, and we can hear that in his melody, which is also twisty. Listen to this. So Lieutenant Kije doesn't exist, he's made up. And we can hear how twisty he is from that tune. It's like the tune is saying, Lieutenant Kije is a fake. And that's exactly what he is. Prokofiev has created four musical characters and the posh word for that is leitmotif. So turn to your friend and whisper leitmotif and then you'll never forget that word. Go on, turn now. He puts these together to tell his story and he doesn't have to get the musicians to sit together in bubbles because the music works perfectly with them sat in their normal positions. His stroke of genius was to place the trumpet off stage so we get a feeling of space at the beginning and the end. And then when you listen to the full piece played by the London Symphony Orchestra, why not add onto your picture their thoughts and maybe what they're saying to each other as the story unfolds. And if you don't feel like drawing today, why not act out the story? Just copy what I'm doing on the screen. And remember, there's no wrong answer. Clark was going about her business, filing, sorting, making lists. A message came from the Tsar. Make me a list of all the lieutenants. So that's what the clerk did. Just then, 
the Tsar arrived, so it's time to salute and bow. Okay then, said the Tsar, send me regular updates. Maybe one day I'll get to meet him. Okay, we'll do. Everything went back to normal. But there was a strange feeling in the air. 